What's going on everybody? Today as part of the Mastering GL series, I'm going to show how to create a GL calendar. First we'll create the period type and then we'll use data loader to create the calendar. So let's get right into it. Okay, we'll start off by using the general ledger super user. We'll go to setup, financials, calendars, and then I'm gonna move types over and accounting over. And the first up is the period type. Now period types is where you define the number of periods in a year and really centers around the number of adjusting periods you'd like to have. So if you'd like to have just one adjusting period, it would be 13 periods. If you'd like to have four adjusting periods, one for each quarter, then you would make it, of course, 16 periods. But in this case, we're going to make it 13 periods. So next up is to define the calendar. First thing we'll do is give the calendar a name and then we'll give the calendar a description. And now let's go over and load up data loader. Okay, so next up, let's open up the calendar data load file. And we're primarily looking here to make sure that the, the type matches what we created. Okay, and then there's the second part is to make sure that the window matches. Once I get this thing situated here, let's get this over here. And we just want to make sure that the windows match. We want to be in the first place in the calendar and that the windows match, and they do. And so we'll kick this off. And I will massively speed this up. And there it is with the last adjusting. Let's close this down. Now we'll go tick the adjusting for each of the years. It's 24, let's do 23, and we have one for 22. So we'll tick that as well. Then we will save it, and as we close it here, it'll ask if we want to validate. And we say the current one, kick it off. We'll go over to the requests, and what we're gonna do is confirm that everything is okay. So once that finishes running, we'll open up the output and we're looking here for no violations across the board. And you'll see there's no violations. And if you get that, your calendar is good to go. And there you go, folks. That's how you get a calendar going in Oracle Release 12. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.